It's your boy Laws, aka Motor Bro, and welcome to the Q&A. So what up guys, um, today as you can tell I'm doing a Q&A, I just want to talk to you guys, answer your questions, you guys send me questions on Instagram, at Motor Bro with three O's, so hey, give me a follow there if you haven't already, and um, let's get started with this Q&A. First question asked from David Lee, MCC. How long is the slong? Well, brother, it is about this long. Yes, sir. A question that a lot of you guys have been asking is, how did I get started in the bike life? And I actually got started when I was 18 years old. I got my first pit bike, $300 pit bike, probably the shittiest pit bike you could ever own. Literally, I rode this thing everywhere like right when i got it i was still in high school it was the end of senior year and i was like bro out of nowhere i just started looking up pit bikes on craigslist and i was like dude i want to get one so bad i started riding it i didn't even get into wheeling it for a while like i just had fun riding the bike and then later on i started to get like into wheelies and started progressing in that but how i started was just getting a pit bike randomly i thought it would be fun to have fucking did it bro put your mind on something and fucking do it my dream bike. I get this question all the time, guys. So many people ask me, what is my dream bike? And literally, I have my dream bike. My DRZ400 Supermoto, that is my dream bike. It is also my first bike. So it's pretty weird. Like, my first bike is my dream bike. And I couldn't, I have no complaints. The DRZ400, so reliable. Wheelie machine, bro. It took me everywhere in LA. Had no problems the whole time. It literally is the perfect bike for me. A lot of people are like, yo, why don't you get a 450 dirt bike? And for me, the 400cc is powerful enough. Like, the 450 is that extra little power. But to me, I just like to do wheelies and cruise. So, like, I don't need that extra power. And fucking, as you can tell, the DRZ is a scrape machine. So fun to scrape on that bad boy. Hey, Vroom Vroom Dana asks, do you want my babies? Of course I want your babies, bro. I want to live in Lake Est Lake Els Elsinore. Elsin Elsinore. I want to live in Lake Elsinore, bro. I'm going to be back soon when I move to freaking LA. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be freaking whipping the Subi to your crib. And we're going to be cruising the hills. It's going to be fun, bro. Okay, Nicolin Klassen asked, what motor models do I have on my DRZD? I haven't really talked about this. I did a little bike check. But for a lot of my new subscribers, um, my DRZ is a 2009. Um, I have a 39 mil carb on it and then the 3x3 airbox mod and that's pretty much it for the performance I have a Yoshimura full exhaust pipe too, which sounds amazing if you guys have a deer We got this if you guys have a DRZ I highly suggest getting the Yoshimura exhaust pipe with the 30 my with the 39 mil car because literally that is the best combination ever it brings the bike alive like you get so much more power and it just feels like it feels fucking good bro it feels so fucking powerful zw cracker 125 asks do you play runescape literally runescape was the game i played my whole childhood from like fourth to almost like 10th grade i was playing runescape i loved runescape Literally, it brought me into like a different world. Such good memories. That's why I have the RuneScape music on the outro of my videos because every time I would like edit, I'm just like, dude, it brings me back to those old days where you're not stressing about nothing. You're just having fun with your homies playing RuneScape. Like, you're just fucking, you're mining rune or some shit or you're killing chickens to get feathers. It's just like, it uh, brings back so much memories. Do a long stoppy. Bruh, I can't do a long stoppy yet. I'm not that experienced. But soon, I will try to learn how to do long stoppies, aka nose manuals, because I know everyone gets mad when I say nose manuals. No, no rise. How much horsepower does your bike have? Um, I'm guessing like 59 horsepower. I'm not sure exactly. I like backwards ass. <laughs> Make a porno with my cat and name it Moto Meow. My dog, dude. <laughs> Moto Meow. Holy shit, bro. Dude, that might, that might be a future video. You never know. Someone also asked, uh, Jake Stunts asked, do I run a handbrake? I currently am not running a handbrake. I've never used a handbrake in my life. But I think in the future, I want to get a handbrake. I just want to get more, do more stunt moves while I'm on the seat. And I want to like scrape going fucking 12 o'clock while standing on the seat. To be honest, if you don't have a handbrake, that is super incredible, incredibly hard to do. So um, having that handbrake would help me so much. I feel like I'd progress 
on my supermoto much faster and it would be much safer so in the future I'm really thinking about getting a handbrake so if you guys know any handbrake good handbrake setups let me know in the comments below because that would be dope another thing a lot of people were wondering is if I moved to California I was I did not move to California uh, I was there for five weeks visiting, I was taking a filmmaking course while I was there, and I shipped my Supermoto, which I'll answer the question right now, it was $700 to ship there, and $700 to ship back, so pretty expensive, but totally worth it, I had so much fun there, like, $700 to bring my Supermoto to California, bro, like, I literally had the best time of my life in California, and without the Supermoto, I wouldn't have been able to travel where I did in California, so I'm super glad I made that decision. Wheelie questions. All right, Doby Main. I'm scared to wheelie. Help. Um. Well, I have a wheelie tutorial on the pit bike, but the most important thing is back brake control. So what I did to practice back brake control, back brake control. Sorry, I suck at talking, guys. You guys probably know this already, but we are gonna get through it. We go. Uh, uh, uh. We'll dab through it. Um, back brake control. Literally, this is so crucial. Like. This is how I learned back brake control. I would literally bring the bike up and just touch my back brake and bring it back down. I kept doing that, so I'd go farther, hit the back brake, come down. Go a little bit farther up, bring, hit the back brake, go back down. And literally after a while, you start to get that feeling of being in the balance point and hitting your brake to keep it there. Once you get that feeling, you're on your way to hitting some nice wheelies. Ooh, car plans, car mods, new cars, um, I don't think I'm going to get a new car soon, but I want to put bags on my car, I want to get a downpipe. Tyann1304, how many crashes? Um, on my supermoto I've been in one crash and that was our avid on video where the kid runs into me or I turn and he runs into me. I'm not saying whose fault it was, could have been my fault, could have been his. It's history, fuck it, throw that in the back, don't even matter. But that's the only crash I've had on the supermoto, like pretty bad crash. On my pit bike, I've crashed probably four, four, bad, four times pretty bad where I looped a wheelie. So around four times, but I've never gotten too hurt in a crash yet. Thank God. Okay, this one, Eskins asks, what, what is my goals outside of riding slash YouTube? I'm really into filming, so I want to do a lot more with music videos. My goal really is, like, in the future, I want to keep doing YouTube as long as I can. Like, this shit is so fun, just interacting with you guys, like... It's literally changed my life. It has made me go out of my comfort zone so much, which has helped me because like going out of your comfort zone is it's pretty hard, but once you do it, it's always a positive outcome. So I really suggest like just go out of your comfort zone and you'll see like the shit that happens will be amazing. This is a good question from Sam Fortune. Do you like the SSR best or would you like to get a Cali or any other pit bike? To be honest, I would love to get another pit bike. The SSR it's a good pit bike for the price. I paid 700 for mine and literally it's still run it runs fine. The parts are a little shitty like the bars bend quick, the pegs bend quick. But if you take pretty good care of the bike, it will last. But the difference is between having a Kawasaki pit bike or SSR, a Kawasaki will probably be 100 times more reliable, 100 times tougher, but the thing is the price of those bikes are way higher. So that's why I got the SSR, because for your first bike, you don't even really know if you're going to get into it, so I always try to stay like, don't get something crazy expensive if you don't even know if you want to get into the sport or whatever, you just want to test it out. Just sort of get something, something you can afford, see if you like it, and then from there you can always progress into a better bike. Luc and Den Bosch, are you Dutch? Yes, my parents are fully Dutch, 100%. My brother was born in Holland, I was born in America. But my blood is Dutch. Dutch gang, we out here. <laughs> this question is from Jacob. How big do you think your channel will grow in the future? As big as your dick? Of course, bro. My dick's around 8 inches, so 800,000, you know. You know. <laughs> I want my channel to grow. I want it to keep growing. I don't want it to stop, bro. We can hit that million, bro. That's what I'm going for. We're going to have a million freaking subscribers. MB gang, we are strong, bro. We are a nation. We got this, bro. Connor O'Brien, will you ever do a one-handed scrape? Well, when I was in California, I had a dream that I was chilling 12 o'clock and I hit a one-handed scrape. 
So I think I have it. I've sort of been testing the waters with them, but I haven't got it. But I'm thinking for 300,000 subscribers, I will do like a sort of challenge. I don't know by then if I'll have the one-handed scrape, but if I don't, that would definitely be an option. But I want to start doing these challenges for subscribers. So like 300,000, we're going to get a challenge. And I want to do a giveaway because, dude, you guys are freaking awesome. You guys deserve that. Sammy asks, are you planning to move out to Cali anytime soon? Yes, by the end of this year, I plan to be in California. Before the end of this year, I plan to be in California, but I'm just saying end of the year, because you never know what happens, but I'm thinking around July, I'll make the move, road trip, go through Texas, go through Louisiana, Louisiana, don't know how to talk. And um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun, just road trip all the way to California with my supermoto, and the freaking videos would be epic oh my god this is probably my last question i'm gonna answer but a big question and this is from batter dog and he asked how and when did you get started in bmx and how did it affect your life i got started riding when i was around 13 years old and before that i did all team sports and what bmx did it opened up my creative side i feel like that's how i got started filming because in bmx it, the decisions are all on you. You decide what you want to ride, where you want to ride, what tricks you want to do. You don't have anyone telling you wh how to ride. It's all on yourself and it gets you really in a creative, creative thinking mind. And from that, I started filming myself biking, filming others biking, and it got me into my passion for filming too, which is cool how finding BMX helped me discover different passions I had. So literally, I can't thank BMX enough. Like. BMX was my life, and it still is my life, but I've sort of moved on to different things, but I still love riding my bike. BMX life, supermoto life, we all, we all fucking, we all, we part of that bike life, boy. Pretty much, like, BMX made me who I am today, for sure. But alrighty, guys! I hope you enjoyed this little Q&A. This is my first time pretty much doing a whole video in a Q&A. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys want me to do more videos where I just talk to the camera, let me know in the comments below. I freaking love you guys. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell because YouTube's always messing up and they're not showing when my videos are posted. But I freaking love you guys. We got Motor Bro Hats coming soon. Be on the lookout this week. I will see y'all next time. Peace!